Hey, welcome back to the Southern Family Homestead. Today we're doing Scuppernug Jelly. All my life I've called these Scuppernuns. So I looked up the um, pronunciation. It's supposed to be Scuppernug Jelly. So if I say it wrong, I'm sorry. These are a type of grape. We have them down here in the south. I've actually ate these my whole life. My grandpa always had um, these for us to eat in the in the late summer usually at the end of august these are ready but they're late this year and so we are going to cook these down today and make jelly out of them if you're not familiar with the scuppernut it's just a type of grape some people call it a muscadine grape um muscadines they were black they're not white like scuppernuns are and so we are going to cook these down and we're going to make jelly out of them first we're going to wash the scuppernuns We're going to cook the scuppernuns down for about 20 minutes until they're easy to mash. After the scuppernuns are cooked down, then you want to smash them with a potato masher to get as much juice out of them as possible. You want to strain them through a cheesecloth to get all the pulp out of them. Since this is a very long process, you can store the juice in the refrigerator for a couple of days if you're not quite ready to make your jelly. Measure five cups of juice into your pot and then you're going to put I believe it's seven cups of sugar. The recipe calls for you to do this after you put the pectin in but I've done it both ways and it usually turns out correctly either way. pot was too small so I'm transferring my sugar and my juice to a bigger pot. You're going to bring the juice to a slow boil and melt all the sugar before you pour the pectin in. After all the sugar's melted, you're going to pour in your sure gel and stir it up. Um, you can add a uh, tablespoon 
of butter so you don't get foam and that will need to boil hard boil for one minute After it's through boiling, then you will need to take it off the stove and immediately transfer all of your juice into your jars that have been pre-sterilized. You will need to wipe the top of your jars with vinegar before putting your lids so it will create a good seal. All of my jars were pre-sterilized before we use them. You can do this in the dishwasher or you can use your canner to sterilize your jars and your lids. After placing the jars in the canner, you will leave them in there for five minutes. Now we'll take out the jars and wait for them to seal. We'll add um, links to the show notes below for some of the products that we use today. If you found this video useful, please subscribe and hit the like button. Thank you for watching.